smile. <laughs> All right. Today is February 3rd, 2012, and we are in the home of Ellen Opsel. Thank you, Ellen, for sharing your information with us. Well, mm -hmm. I'm excited about okay. this. <laughs> Very good. Um, tell us where and when you attended country school. Okay, I was born in Audubon County on a farm. And uh, so it was Leroy number two, that Leroy Township number two. And I started in 1935 and I quit in 1948. Yes, 1948. Okay, so and that was, did you go to kindergarten? Yes, uh, uh -huh, a little, they had a little bit. I don't really remember much about it. So you didn't move at all during your country. You were no. always on the same farm. Yes, my my dad and his uncle owned the farm, and you know, of course, during the depression, I I didn't realize it at the time, but I you know I learned later that we were so glad it was paid for because they didn't lose it in the depression. So, how far away did you live? I was lucky, about a quarter of a mile. But, uh, you know, they always make the joke about walking uphill. Well, I, I really both honestly... Ways. Yeah, yeah, both ways. <laughs> I, I really honestly did walk uphill. And it was quite a steep hill. The, the schoolhouse was on a pretty good-sized hill. What tasks did you have to perform before leaving for school? Well, I, you know, like most kids, had to make my bed and get dressed. And I can remember there was a radio program on, and I don't remember the name of it, but, uh, but it kind of helped me get dressed on time because he'd say, "Are you putting your socks on?" and and then things like that. And so, uh, <laughs> I must have been kind of slow getting dressed because Mother always had that program on. <laughs> and then, of course, we I ate breakfast. Always oatmeal, always oatmeal. Good, good healthy, good healthy breakfast, and and but I didn't do any farm chores in the morning. What did you wear to school? Well, dresses. Um, uh, and in the winter, very well. In the winter, you'd have long underwear. And it's, you know, the old-fashioned drop-seat underwear, you know, that they don't make hardly anymore. Uh, it's v and then long stockings. It's very hard to get long stockings up over long underwear without getting the underwear all bunched up up here. And uh, I had a, always had a nice snowsuit. And... Uh, I can remember Mom had put a scarf around here and a scarf around here, so only my eyes showed. And, and uh, I can remember walking over fences from the snow. And uh, so it was, and I remember one time, and I was very young, uh, and my brother, who was nine years older than I was, uh, would have been in high school, but evidently high school didn't was uh, either he couldn't get there or they didn't have high school. But uh, he was home, and Mom had him walk me to school because the teacher I had, you asked me if I had preschool or whatever, and her name was Reynolds, and and she was a strange old maid school teacher. But she had the very best of intentions, and and I tell you, she, uh, our farm is about three and a half miles north of Audubon, and then a, a mile east on you know, and she walked every day. She walked, and on this snowy day, very deep snow. She made it to school. Now that is really dedication that you just don't see today. And I remember after school, Mom went out and, and went out to the road and said, wouldn't you like to stay the night? Oh no, I'm fine, I'll make it. And she was back the next morning. So she lived in town and walked out to this rural school? Yes, yes. 
and I only, I only had her one year. I, I, she was older. She probably retired. I really don't know. But I got tired of the law. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now you started to tell us your brother one morning. Was he? Oh, he he, just... he walked. He walked me to school that uh, th that snowy snowy morning. The same morning that the teacher walked out. I mean, she did it every morning. But was your sister closer in age? Would you've been able to walk? Yeah, she's five years and, and older or younger. Uh, older and uh, you know, I don't. She must have been along. I, I honestly don't remember, but she must have been along that day too. But that that's the day we walked over fences and everything. Didn't know where the 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 road gullies were, you know, and all. So. Do you remember what time you would have left for school? Well, on a decent day, about eight thirty. School started at nine. Uh, I imagine on this day we left earlier because <laughs> it took a while to plow through that snow. Do you remember anything about those walks along the way? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. Well, one thing I miss today because farming is so different. You know, there's very few pasture lands, not even much hay land, certainly no oats anymore to speak of. And and I miss the uh, meadow larks. Uh, they used to sing so pretty, and they'd often be sitting on the fence posts and stuff beside the road. And a meadow lark song is still probably my favorite bird song. But you just don't hear it anymore because there just aren't any meadow larks here because we don't have any meadows. So that was one thing. And of course. There were cows out in the field, and they, you know, cows are very curious. They'd come over to the fence and and uh, say hello. <laughs> and uh, but other than that, I I guess that's about about it. Um, tell me about your schoolhouse and its surroundings. Well, okay, on on the outside, of course, that they were on an acre, always on an acre, and this acre was actually part of our farm, uh, and and uh, I really don't know how, what the procedure was for our family to give this acre to the school. I that I don't I don't know, but it was part of our farm, and. Um, so it's on an acre, and I said it was on a hill, and where the building sat, it was pretty flat, and then it went downhill quickly on the, the one side. We used to sled down that hill and, and jump off over into the road until one of the boys broke his arm, and then that stopped. <laughs> but it... So it was on a hill. We had a, a big swing set that had two or three swings and a trapeze, and I now have my tooth fixed, but <laughs> it was broken uh, by the trapeze, and it was when I was young, and I didn't realize what a bad thing that was. I know I can remember Mother crying, and into the dentist we went, and all. And I realized later what I had done, but I didn't at the time. But what I was doing on the trapeze, I was swinging, and then I would go, you know, flip off, and I flipped off and stood up. And so that's how it happened. And then we also had a glider. A glider, uh, you have a seat on each end, and, and, and you would get it going and you could, you know, glide pretty high. And then over on the one side is where we played a lot of softball. Uh, like I said, that that was sort of on a hill, but we played there anyway. And inside, well, we had a little, just a small wooden porch on the front of the school, not covered or anything, just just wood platform and we used to that's where we did our jump rope and stuff like that um, but uh, then it had a little like coat room 
and you would hang your coats in there, put your lunch pails in there. Uh, the water bucket pail was in there. Um, a, a basin for washing your hands and all. And in the winter time, you did not leave your lunch out there because by lunchtime it would be frozen. So you brought your lunches in and uh, put them in the school and often Right, we had a big, big, a huge stove, you know, much bigger than down at the little red schoolhouse. That's just little, but ours was huge and round. And we used to put our lunch pails around the bottom, and at night we'd put our ink bottles under there to keep them from freezing. Um, okay, and um. So then you'd go inside and it had windows on the east side and the north side, which would be back. And, and I read somewhere they, the light, the window should be on the left side and the back, and that's exactly the way they were. But, and the little kids, the little desks were over nearest the east windows, but even on a, like a really dark rainy day, it still got awful dark in there. We had, of course, no electricity. And, and no lanterns or anything were there either. No gas lights, no? No, nothing. Um, and uh, they, I had, we had a sandbox that I can remember playing in. Inside? Inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. on, on legs, you know, and it was, we had little cars in there, and it was fun. I played in there a lot when, you know, <laughs> little. And, um, of course, the teacher's desk was over to one side. We had two blackboards, and they were truly blackboards, big, heavy slate boards. Uh, Washington and Lincoln's picture, and a, and a clock, and... Well, I guess that's about what I can remember of it. Coal, coal room off to one side that my brother found out how, how, we never did anything bad in there, but he found out how to get into the school through the coal room. And we got in there one time. And, and I'll have to tell a tale on my brother. This was when he was a freshman in high school. And we got in there and he thought he would play a joke on the teacher, and so he took the bell, and he put it in the damper, the damper of the stovepipe, and it burned the handle off. <laughs> and he, his first chore in his manual training was to make a new handle for the bell. <laughs> I can remember that. How'd they find out he was the culprit? Well, I don't really know. Maybe maybe we blew it, maybe my sister and I, maybe. I don't really know. But anyway, <laughs> I don't recall getting in the school after that. <laughs> I'm sure Mom and Dad had something to say about that. Um, were there trees on the playground? Trees. Yes, one out, I, I forgot to say we had a flagpole out front, and there was a young tree out by the flagpole. And then further, uh, actually not on the school ground, but right beside, you know, the land, there were some trees. But otherwise, no. Any outbuildings? Oh, yeah. The two famous ones, you know. Oh, how I hated them. Especially the first time in the fall because there were always spiders in there. And I don't like spiders to this day. I realize they do good things a lot, but I still don't like spiders. And I'm not that I go screaming off when I see one like some people do, but I just don't care for them. Um, so we had a, a girls and a boys, of course, and other other than that, there were no out, out, out buildings. We did have a well down at the bottom of this hill, but the water was not potable, so we couldn't drink it. 
So where did the water come from? From my uncle's farm, which was even closer than ours, and we would take, the, the, the older children would take turns, two of them, going up to my uncle's farm and getting a bucket of water. And, and I can remember as young children, we had a dipper, and everybody drank out of that dipper until I was about in fourth grade, and then we got a teacher that insisted we all bring our own little tin cup. And ever after that, we, used, we had our own little tin cup. What did you do once you arrived at school? Well, you could play on the playground for a little bit, although we we didn't arrive that much early. And then you'd go in and, of course, you'd, if you had a coat, you'd hang it up and all. And take your seat right away and and uh, say good morning to the teacher, uh, kind of all together. And then we'd say pledge to the flag. and. Maybe we'd sing a song, not not always, but we might sing a song and then get to work. She would explain, you'd usually have stuff written on the board and just get to work then. Tell me about the inside of the building. Inside of what? The building. Well, I said it had. I guess we had. We talked about the stove and the windows and the. Yeah. The, maybe I mean, we've already done that. There, there's not much more I can tell. Um, how about a piano? I can stop it. 